I'm Brady. And I'm Maddie. Coming up on today's show, we look at yet another all Florida rated video, plus our first speech from our top 10 of the senior class. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned, you're, you're watching, watching Roar TV. TV. Oviedo High School, home of champions and scholars. Here at Roar TV, we edit, film, produce, and tell Oviedo's story with pride. Welcome to Roar TV. Good morning, Oviedo. It's Monday, April 10th, 2023. First up today, we take a look back at another segment that received an all-Florida rating from the Florida Scholastic Press. Photographer Delaney Warner and reporter Kaylin Herbet traveled just down the road to tell us what Hope Helps is all about. Nobody knows what the next chapter in their life will hold. Every day, many families live on the edge of financial instability and homelessness, not knowing what their next step is towards a better life. But a not-for-profit organization located in Oviedo, Florida, has decided to tackle that issue head-on. So Hope Helps was founded by a woman named Chrissy Goss, and um, she happened to meet a family um, who had had some tragedies and was homeless, and she decided to take upon herself, like, I'm going to find the resources to a couple days and this and that. And in her process of trying to help them, she realized there was a void of some services for people like them. Through kind of conversations, decided, well, let's do something about it. Let's start something. With the goal of helping families regain control of their lives and income, Hope Helps has created multiple facilities and services to help their clients with whatever curveball life throws their way. The Hope Test is a beautiful relationship with the community because they, uh, the community donates things that are still in nice condition but that they don't want anymore. And then they shop for things that maybe they want, they get good deals on it. The donated items um, are offered to clients who need something, um, and if they don't choose them, then they're sold. Then they get to sh what we do, what we call shop the food pantry. And we have fresh produce, meats, dairy products, in addition to the shelf-stable foods. At every point in someone's life, they might just need a little bit of help, whether that's they need help getting extra food, they need help getting some clothing, or maybe they even need help with rent for like one month. And there's nothing wrong with just needing a little help from someone else in life at any point. The Hope Helps organization works with their clients in situations of financial emergency, not just in the now, but also works to take steps to prevent them in the future. The idea is to help them out of the crisis, but then also help prevent them from being in the crisis again. So we do the initial thing. We give them food, you know, we pay a month's rent, something like that. But then we create a case plan with them. And so we follow up with them and we check in on them and we, we develop goals with them. That next step process is what sets Hope Helps apart from other not-for-profit organizations. And for the volunteers, hearing people's stories and watching clients take that leap towards true stability is the reason they keep coming back. I would say, honestly, I really enjoy kind of being here. I've continued to volunteer here because I've just enjoyed like meeting the people and like learning about their stories and like every week like I see regulars come in and I can remember their faces like I can. It makes me happy to like know that I'm doing something for like a city that I'm living in. Having to ask for help is one of life's most difficult tasks, but the Hope Helps organization is working to make getting the assistance needed for many people more accessible and providing support and materials needed for them to build and cross the bridge to a better life. For Roar TV, I'm Kaylin Herbet. Senior breakfast is Wednesday, April 19th during periods one through three. Seniors, this is where you will pick out your cap, gown, and graduation announcements. See your teacher sponsor to obtain any honor courts. Seniors, the nomination list for prom court is open for voting. The survey can be found under quizzes on the Senior eCampus page. Each student may vote for up to 12 nominees. If you vote for more than 12, that student's votes will be disqualified. Voting for court will remain open through 3 p.m. this Wednesday, April 12th. See Mrs. Finnegan with any questions. Seniors, all Plato classes must be completed by Friday, May 12th at 2.20 p.m. in order to walk on the May 16th graduation ceremony. Plato will be locked slash turned off on Friday, May 12th at 2.20 p.m. Any senior that still has to work to complete their Play-Doh must finish during summer school and will walk on the summer graduation on July 17th at OHS. There are no exceptions. OHS Theater will present the musical Chicago Thursday at 7 p.m. 
Friday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. All staff and their family will be admitted free with ID. General admission tickets are $7 for adults and $5 for students. FCA meets in the RWL gym Tuesdays during both lunches. Hi everyone, my name is Ellen, I'm a senior, and throughout these past four eventful years of high school, I've learned a lot. The most valuable thing that I've learned this year is that the only thing more fulfilling, more fulfilling than earning any sort of recognition or achievement is intentionally serving those around you. What I mean by that is doing to others as you would to yourself, sometimes above your own interest. Serving others can be as simple as giving a compliment and as big as being there for someone during their darkest times. For me, serving others is being a student leader at my church and pursuing my academics, so that way I can serve people in my future career. Serving others changes not only how you perceive others, but how you perceive yourself. You realize you can do more than just go through the motions of life, but rather that you have the power to change someone's life. The most important thing to remember is the way you serve must be just as fulfilling to you as it is to those you're around. Once I discovered how I serve people best, I began to naturally work hard in school and connect with others. As grateful as I am for the opportunity to be here, with all my accomplishments, goals met, and going to one of my dream colleges, I truly hope that if there's one thing I'm remembered by, it would be that it would be my character and the way I treated others that I was there for people when they needed support, that I made other people's days better, and that I contributed to their own personal growth throughout high school. Living with this mindset has shifted my perspective from constant longing and desire of success to a life filled with acceptance and gratitude for all that I have. I hope that as you go throughout the rest of high school and your life, that this too is your goal. Thank you for listening, have a great day, and as always, go Lions. That's all we have for you today, Oviedo. Have a great day, and as always, Go, go Lions! Lions.